let's talk about a super controversial topic, which is, so a transgender professor at Old Dominion University tries to rebrand pedophilia to MAP, which means minor attracted person. I've been seeing this term <laughs> MAP all over Twitter, and I have no idea what that meant until recently, and I was like, oh, so that's what that means. So Did you see it like in a positive light or like a... We got cool. the video of her, um, um, I don't know what their pronouns are, them, trying to explain it. So, where's the where's the other person? <laughs> so let's pull up the <laughs> let's pull up the video, and let's watch them explaining it. Huh? You heard me. <laughs> I just I just see the one person. <laughs> so much for that question. Um, I use the term minor attracted person or MAP uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to it doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. Thanks so much for that question. Um, I use the term minor attracted person. I think that's that, I think it's repeating uh, in the it. title and throughout. The yeah, I repeated it. All right. So, Black, let's start with you. I think John needs a second to process. <laughs> <laughs> I see him, like, in his freaking left shoulder. Just <laughs> I know. I turned over. Can I just see him just like. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Doc. So she wrote a whole book about this. Apparently, apparently, no. Okay. A long no. dark. Sh it's right no. there. Author of a she long did dark not. shadow. They did. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a, I think. Oh, no. I no. think they actually identify as he, but I don't know. I'm okay. not gonna lie. This is so confusing for me to keep up with. I'm. I'm thinking it's he. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So he wrote <laughs> a book on this. Um, I get it, in the sense that it's like you're you're trying to to maintain the humanity of the person. It's just, it's one of those things that's so taboo that it, eh, you kind of shouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, this time was coming, you know that, right? Yeah, no, we've talked about this. I, I literally said, this is this exact thing was going to happen. I said, the people that have attractions to kids are going to eventually say that they can't help who they're attracted to. Yeah, exactly. They're, they it's were like born that book, way. Like a... And so they're going to demand a color. They're going to demand a letter. They're going to demand all the other things. And my and question is, right. they, them, when you book a flight, is this person buying more than one ticket? I believe if you identify as a plural, you got to pay double the taxes. You got to buy more, more than one plane ticket. If you're going to a basketball game, you need to buy more than one seat. Because this whole idea is stupid. <laughs> I just want to address two things that uh, he said in this clip, which was the first one, which was they said. that they said, he said, they said, <laughs> which was the stigmatization, how pedophilia is stigmatizing. Isn't that the point? Yeah, it kind of it kind of is. It's like it's one of those things where no, it wasn't. You should be shunned. I guess the gray zone would be if like you happen to like somebody who's I don't know ten years younger than you, but that person's like thirty and you're forty, or you know what I mean? Like that's a gray zone. In your 30s. wait, hold on, question. Well, because technically that would fall under no, no, wouldn't it? No, no, no. is minor 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 flat out, like eighteen minor like the word is minor. 
the yeah, word is minor. Yeah. I was interpreting it as like just being really attracted to somebody who's much younger than you. No, it's minor. So straight could you up. Imagine like they at the. Well, quick pause inter- insert. So no, to answer Doc's question, no, it's not someone younger. It's specifically someone underage. Because I I shared it. To, I don't know if I sent it to you specifically on Twitter or if I shared. I think I actually shared it to the group chat where there was a screenshots of a group chat of people who identified as MAP and they're explaining how they can only be at the reasons why they're attracted to underage people. Like, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Shout out, Philip. And the second thing I want to say, she said stigmatizing and... Um, she said that <clears throat> any group, regardless of, I guess, the morality of the group, she said she wanted to... We should go by whatever that group wants to be called. No. 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 So we're hurting pedophiles' feelings by calling them pedophiles? Isn't low-key, like I said, isn't low-key, isn't that the whole point? Like, but she's saying, no, we, we shouldn't be hurtful, even though that's what they are. Pedophile isn't a word that's negative. It's it's a bad thing. That The definition of the word is it's a bad thing. If you fit the definition, that's up to you to fit the definition of the word the word exists in the dictionary it's not a neg it's not like what is she i don't know dude i'm kind of good i can I see it if it's like a, a a stage like the if this if it's like the first stage like if you have somebody who's genuinely concerned that they have map or whatever and they're worried about becoming a pedophile and so they go see psychiatric help or something like that and they're like hey i have map or like and i'm, I'm really scared of myself can you help me? And then they're seeking like help and stuff like that before they've ever committed any kind of crime. Um, that's the only way I, I can like empathize with it because because then it does make sense like to not go like to go seek help and be like, hey, I'm a pedo, and you haven't done anything yet. Like uh, it's it, that's a bad situation to be in because I feel like that puts a lot of. Uh, but is that so? Is, it, yourself. is this wrong in the pinpoint? Like, is that the majority or the minority? I I, I don't know. Like, I just yeah. have I. Not an issue, but I have contention with us trying to appease a minority when that's not the case. Like, and I get what you're trying to say but too. Pedophile like, isn't a pejorative term. You using you trying to escape the word pedophile is you not taking accountability for what the action of what, what you're doing is. So it's like, oh, don't make it sound that bad. Let's not call, let's not call you're it supposed mur- to make it. Sound let's not bad. call it murder no more. I don't want to. Let's call it kill kill. No, let's not, no, no, not kill, kill. No, instead of calling it murder, let's just call it um, um, self or or <laughs> loss of lo- <laughs> loss of life. Transitioning. Let's transition. call it transition yeah, yeah. to the next stage yeah, of yeah, life. Yeah, I helped you transition. Let's call it that. I helped you fucking transition. Transitionalist. Like, Awaken. I'm a transitionalist. Or I like to help transition people. Life. Yeah, put yeah, you in that yeah. eternal sleep. Yeah, so, I think if you're adding this to people that are already convicted of sexual you know like sex offenders and stuff like that then it, it's not I don't, it doesn't fly because the whole point is that those people are pushed out of society for committing taboos that most societies wouldn't commit and if you're using this to self-identify to observe for mental health to stop yourself from doing anything like this or for even people around you to stop you from doing it then it makes more sense but not as like a, oh well let's lessen the that sounds so mean let's lessen the terminology so so that, so circle back to your point about is it people who are just younger than you or is it specifically minor so here's uh Shuan Head shared a tweet where she, I don't know if she specifically took some screenshots well I'll just read the tweet itself so she said so I managed to sneak into a map dm group and it's only slightly more disturbing as anything else they posted publicly literally no quote support happening just basically creepy fetish talk and um let me see if i can actually send this real quick to twitter ian and then maybe you can pull it up so i just send it to the fate you think of twitter if you want to pull it up while i read this um i use separate devices i might be a little paranoid laugh out loud i have like no reason to be honestly it's just it's already public knowledge and assumption in real life for me you know Lon, what's your AOA? AOA meaning age of attraction. And the person replies, nine, 9 to 14. Ours is close. Mine is 7 to 12. 12 is nice. And then someone else says, I'm back. As far as AOA, my main range is 3 to 10. Primary is 4 to 7, girls only, cis, and trans. 
I like mostly girls too, but anime boys is an exception. Some shotas are cute, but no sexual side for me. Only anime boys, not real. Someone says they're AOA, which is 3 to 10. And it just gets worse from here on out. So I don't know if we want to really want to talk about this. But yeah, real quick, so Doc and, and John can see if you guys want to see. But here are some of the, the texts or the back and forth. Like, this is why, like, yes, I don't know. We should not call them maps. Pedophiles. You are pedophiles. You are not maps. You are pedophiles. If you take it in a negative way, you're supposed to. It is a bad, immoral thing. You are pedophiles. And I'm emphasizing that pedo for a reason. Pedophiles. This isn't actually them, like, it's like they're talking about girls, like older guys would do. Like, this isn't them being like, no, nah, this isn't them. <laughs> I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that they're trying to be like, dude, you shouldn't be into that. But... Nah. Funny little detailer, okay. all of them have an anime um, profile picture. Just a small little touch, you know, just interesting observation. Well, I think they're genres, aren't they? Like, yeah, those are genres of, like, pornography for anime. What is? The the whole like Shota. Oh, it prob- like oh that. yeah, I, uh, that probably is. I, I mean, the, I don't the, the, the lolly... little boy thing, I think, or a little yeah, Lolly's like little are... girl, Shota's, I think, yeah. little boy, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's where they get their fixes from that shit. Bro, it's, uh, it's, hmm. yeah, I already said too much, I think. Or all I need to say. Anything else before we move on? Because, yeah, this is. This... <laughs> yeah, I, I really am curious in her book, like, how she's trying to normalize it. Like, if she's just trying to <clears throat> basically PR <coughs> pedophilia away, then I don't, I don't, that's not going to work. Um, if she's actually trying to use it, like I was thinking, or she's just trying to like stage it out for people. Like if you guys were to tell me like, Hey man, like I have like an attraction to a minor and you hadn't done anything. I, I'd stop and be like, all right, like let's work this shit out. But what or, if I didn't want to work like, it out? Let's okay. Let's 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 run through this scenario. So I if, talk, if, text you, say, "Hey man, I saw this girl in middle school, and boy, I was aroused." I'm not for the record. It's just a hypothetical situation. Heck no. And I told you, Doc, and you and you said, "What would you say? How 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 would you address the situation then?" I well, first I would ask you like, why? What do you think when that happens and stuff like that? Like, do you need to see a psychiatrist? Like, are you ashamed of it? Are you not? But honestly, that question. Why would are you shunning me, Doc? Me. Why are you trying to kink shame me? No, I'm not kink shaming. I didn't tell you. Are you ashamed? Or you should be ashamed. I'm asking. But you're asking me to see a psychologist. So seeing a psychologist points you, to me. I need mental ashamed health. Ashamed when you think that way. I'm not ashamed and when it, I think that way. If you say no, then I'm going to go behind your back and I'm probably going to call the cops or something like that. If you say yes, then I'll be like, all right, well, let's, let's figure that out. So then you don't have to – so then right there you just – not not a point, but you just revealed something. It's not about the act. It's just the fact that you feel that way. If someone feels that way, and even though you didn't perform an act, the fact that you don't feel shameful feeling that way, it's still an issue. Yeah, dude, because you have the potential to do something that's pretty evil. So that's why, like, I would – pay utmost attention to your reaction so that I can see if I can help you through the situation or if maybe I need to fucking call like a, a civil servant to come and help you um, to stop you from yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, I know what you mean, but the, see that that's why to John's point, the snake eating itself, it's we've allowed, like imagine this exact conversation to someone else in the alphabet community, like a, just a simple uh, hetero, uh, homosexual person. You can't do that because you're now questioning their humanity, questioning their sexuality, all this demeaning stuff. Because, and I'm not trying to dehumanize them. That's not my intention. I'm just saying to John's point that because we left so much gray room, it enabled them to navigate that gray room like this. You can see that, but I disagree in the sense that, like, I know plenty of upstanding homosexuals that would just be, like, a clear that's fucked up. Or they would step in even before most other people to say, like, no, that's fucked up. No, I agree with you. It's just, there's a difference between the individuals and the community as a whole is my point. I'm trying to fixate more on the community and not the individual. I agree with you. Individual, there are, like, I, I, like I have some neighbors, and I'm sure they would also. But the point is, yeah. the way the community is representing themselves has allowed these loopholes. 
I think it depends on like the attention that's garnered for the most uh, outlandish though. Like the people that push the boundaries the most, especially for Twitter. Twitter, like the entire way that Twitter focuses, it's like the most astonishing or outrageous tweets and then stuff is going to get the most attention. And so the people that push into basically like the fucking, I don't know, the chaos zone of the psyche are the ones that are pulling the most attention the chaos zone so so like this <laughs> like person who's, who's like going into that fucking far off zone like they're way far out everyone's just like whoa like what the fuck i think because it pushes the most tension and they identify of a certain way or they're they're kind of pushing like their own branding as like i'm lgbtq and we're fucking branding under here i'm sure a ton of people would be like nah, we're not with you like no way you're definitely pushing too far out there but the and, uh, very vocal community shuns those people. They suppress them. That's in, but I don't want to get on that. That's honestly that's for them to sort out. John, I don't think you do, but you've been quiet this whole time. You got anything to say? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't see it because it's like they're so open minded that it makes sense that this would be the group that produces something like that. It's just uh, they're so yeah. open minded talking about the alphabet community. Yeah, yeah. Well, most like liberals pushing into uh, like, you know, alphabet like community like stuff and agendas and stuff like that. Like they're they're very open minded. Uh, That's not, one way to uh, look at it. Not people, but like open minded. Uh, goal orientated, you know what I mean? And I so think? I think. What do you mean? I think I know what you're saying. I just don't know yeah, if I would use the person as open-minded, but I know what you're trying to say. They're, they're, they generally like create, in my opinion, a, a lot of intellectualism to try to pave a road for, for progress or progression. Uh, not necessarily meaning like it's better or worse. It's just progression like it's a direction um, for their ideals. And I think because it's usually led by being really open-minded, like pushing boundaries, like homosexuality, transgenderism, and stuff like that, where it's like completely kind of going against like social constructs and natural constructs that stuff like this starts to kind of jump on the caravan of that direction. But I, I generally don't think that it's like the values of everybody that's pushing in that direction. I agree with you, but on the opposite spectrum, I don't think it's open-mindedness as far as it is in a weird way. It's more of they've left the definition of anything so vague that anything can slip under that veil but it's purposely left vague because true understanding would be almost like shackles you'd have to be held to the concept or the standard that you you put so if you make everything fluid you make everything tentative spectrum then it's like okay any kind of thing that may pop up will then be able to fit in so, like, the idea of, like, the spectrum and, like, you know, the continued growth of it or whatever is actually more thinking about things in the future than what they currently do have. Because now you're you're preparing for, you're almost creating space for things that don't exist to pop up when you're non-definitive. And I'm not saying any things can't change as in definitive as they can't change, but non-definitive as... For example, um, <clears throat> is there a common, and it's none of my business, I don't really care, but is there a common uh, understanding between whether a uh, person who is homosexual is born that way or is that a, a thing of preference or is it both? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there are some people who would say both. So it's just like, when things and that's just an example i'm not saying that's the true statement or whatever i'm just using it as an example if it's non-definitive it's just kind of hard to put parameters around it and it just seems like that's the goal to not be to not have any kind of real boundary or definition around what's going on and my problem with that is Knocking down boundaries the gray area that it creates because then if you leave stuff vague, as in, um, like I said uh, earlier, if you leave stuff vague, like uh, love is love, attraction is attraction, I can't control who I'm attracted to. Those type of 
theories or those type of ideas, yes, we understand them. But if you keep the conversation vague like that and don't let society actually dive in to why or what is actually going on, I'm not saying bad or good, but just actually paying attention to the detail of it, then you allow other things to use those same vague principles. I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to. I was born this way. Then it becomes less of, so what's the difference between this and this? And so, like, even in the court of law, we, we use other cases to justify cases. You know what I'm saying? So it's just you're creating almost evidence or case. You're, a lot, you're being a bridge for stuff that you don't necessarily want to be, even a, bridge be a bridge for. So that's just why I don't – it's not even open-mindedness. It's almost uh, – I don't want to say selfish. It's just – to me, it's just – we have to dive much. into these things to understand shit. Not the map shit. I'm talking about like the <laughs> other shit. Honestly speaking, the way I where I'm from, bro, these niggas need to burn. Like these niggas need to be set on fire publicly. Like I don't care about nothing. Anybody in the group chat needs to be set on fire publicly, and then and that'll be the end of those group chats. I promise you. I All actually right. think it's a little bit of the opposite, to tell you the truth, because I feel like a lot of it is argued from the angle of intellectualism. So there's all these policies. But it's pseudo intellectual. Like, yeah, yeah really it's like faux smart. intellectualism. Exactly. It's not there's smart. all these like like this is this is the words you say when you interact with this group. This is the terminology for these groups. There's so much litigation. It's just nothing but bureaucracy and policies of, of how you interact within these peoples, like societies and, and communities and but, like these certain cities that are progressive and stuff like that. But that's so not, that's why that, I I agree let, with let you. Let finish. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I understand the concept that it's very generalized, but that in itself was a policy. Like, well, it's fluid. Oh, uh, okay. So that's what the policy says. Yeah, it's fluid. So then we can write the sub policies the way we choose to. So now As all the time goes right. on. That's what I'm saying. You're creating space for something that you don't even have definition for just to create space. It's like having a room in a house and they might need to put something in the room. You're like, nah, uh, uh, uh. They're like, what are you using the room for? I don't know yet. I'm just leaving that space. It's like space an empty room. I like the, the space room. for a future couch, but I'm not sure what couch specifically. I might want to love couch. I might want a sectional, or I might want two lazy boys. I don't know yet. I'm just keeping it open just in case. And I don't even care about that shit, but the real thing to what you're saying is they're, ex they're mistaking progressiveness with intelligence. Being forward thinking on an idea or a subject does not make you smart or intelligent you're just trying to be the first one to think of something I agree to that. and so you're just trying to follow the natural sequence of things and try to be the first one there that is not smart it's not until that's not you know what i'm saying that in my opinion intellect is when you apply information to reality and you get the outcome that you, you know what i'm saying that you want so like put it to the test so that See what holds yeah that is not intellectual to me to, to have such a uh, an idea and just be an idea and then, like, not even want to dive in the idea or sharpen the idea. or And it's not even for, like I said, it's not even for me to sharpen. It's not for, I believe, the extremes of every community should be held accountable by the their community. community. Agreed. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, this is up to them. This is their problem, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I'm, it's not, I'm not even coming from a place of judgment. But it's just from the outside looking in when you see stuff like this now enter the conversation. And now it's not even the problem. Not It isn't even that. Um, but to be fair, the they are handling it because I'm pretty sure Shu is bisexual. So she technically speaking is part of that community and she's addressing this like she's like, no. But the problem is the comfortability. Fair. No, I'm right and there so with the you. The comfortability is, is a testament to how comfortable I'm you're letting they, some of the darker I'm just saying they gotta be the louder <laughs> they gotta stuff. shut this down and be a lot louder about it. it like it's just it's just it's just I don't know it's, it's not interesting I don't wanna say it's interesting it's just I, these people are, I tell uh, everybody's wow. eventually gonna get louder <laughs> yeah and so now we're hearing this we're hearing from this group where we wouldn't have heard from them before yo right, we made it to the end really appreciate it thanks for watching Fake Deep Thinking uh, if you like the show, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to share. We really appreciate everything and appreciate you. So take it easy. Peace. Peace. Have a good day.